Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I just wanted to do a spring-summer makeup basket kind of recap video. Um, I know I've been mentioning a lot in my videos that I have a, a summer makeup basket, but I didn't really show you guys like how I selected the items and everything that was in it because I thought it would take like way too long so now that I'm going to be switching out my my products for like fall winter I thought I would just show you the stuff before I put it away and some things I will be keeping if I didn't use them yet or if I want to get more use out of them I'll, I'll keep them in my basket so I should stop talking while you can't see anything <laughs> Um, this is my basket. Maybe I should zoom out. I'm trying to figure out how to film this kind of video. I wanted it to be like an overhead, but I don't really have a place where that can work. So this is the makeup that was in my basket. I have more on the side here, and there's other stuff <laughs> over here, so... Yeah, I think I went a little too um, much. I went a little overboard, let's say, with the products. But I wanted to make sure like I would use different things. But then like I didn't film a lot of videos. I didn't wear a lot of makeup during the summer. So yeah, a lot of it didn't get used. But anyway, let's just start because this could be very long. Also, like, let me know if you even like this kind of video. I know these are some of the videos I like to watch the most, and I like to see the product as it all is together instead of, like, the person showing one by one. I don't know why my brain works like that, but yeah. So I hope you like this video. And anyway, we'll just go right into it. I think I should start with the lip products because I went like kind of crazy with those and I already kind of organized them by like shade family because I was planning to do a lip swatch video I know I talked about it like three times and I never did it and I just like couldn't figure out how I would do it and how to edit it and when I like don't see my vision for something I just like give up on it <laughs> so yeah that's what happened with that but anyway I'll start with the lip gloss because I mean they're all kind of gonna look the same when I swatch them I guess let's see and this is kind of like a makeup collection video as well because this is a lot of my makeup in this box so yeah you can see what i have i had to switch my memory card but these are lip glosses that i chose for spring and summer um this first one here is the huda beauty lip strobe put this aside in the shade snobby um I don't know if I used this maybe once so this is more like a lip topper for me that's what the applicator looks like use a swatch so it's quite pink and glittery but it looks really nice on top of lipstick which is how I intended to use it can you focus but yeah I don't think this is one I'll be keeping in my box because this screams more like spring summer to me not fall so I'll put that one back in my collection um, then I have this Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss this is one of my favorite lip glosses this is the shade uh, Papa Don't Peach and has a little peach here so cute this is like a good year-round uh, shade because it's a nude as you can see there um, I'm gonna keep this one in my box even though I did use it already I think it's just a good one to have all year I like to put this on like when I don't want to think about choosing a lip color this one goes with everything so I'll keep that one. Then I had this Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer in the shade Forbidden Fruit. 
This one I specifically bought for wearing in the spring and summer, so I don't think I'll keep this one in my box. Yeah, because it's quite spring summery. That's the shade there. Actually, when I put it on my lips, I don't find it looks as vibrant as it does in a swatch. Maybe it's because my lips are already like pretty, um, like pinky red. But yeah, that's what the shade looks like. So I'll put that one back. Then I had this Buxom Plumping Lip Cream, full on plumping lip cream in the shade Seychelles Breeze. This is like a very summery gloss to me, mostly because it has like a coconut scent and it came out like for their summer collection. That's the shade though. I really like it and it is good for all year round. It's just a bit um, more like a peachier nude than this one here. So do I need this in my box? I think I'll put that one away because I actually did get some use out of that one. Oh, this one I actually ended up loving and I didn't think I would. It's the NARS uh, Orgasm Lip Gloss. So I thought it'd be too like metallic, but on the lips it looks really nice. That's the swatch here. It's like a peachy pink with gold shimmer. So it's the same, well, it's like the orgasm blush, but in a lip gloss basically. But I actually love this formula. It feels really nice on the lips. It's not sticky at all. Um, yeah, I really like this. I got it in a Sephora favorite set like a couple of years ago. Uh, I'm going to put it back though because it's very like summery to me. And then this last one, this is more like a liquid lipstick, but it's not like, it doesn't dry down. These are the Smashbox Be Legendary Liquid Metal. So they're metallic, oh, focus, metallic lipsticks. Um, I really like the formula of these and if you are going to be getting a metallic lip color I would suggest these ones because they just look really nice on the lips because they don't dry down they don't like accentuate all the lines the reason I put this one in my box is because I planned on using it like over a matte or a liquid lipstick like in the center to give some glow but I never ended up using it but that's what it looks like here if you, yeah so you can see it is very metallic it's like almost like an eyeshadow <laughs> yeah I did actually try this on my whole lips just to see and it looked pretty crazy because it's so light so I think the only way I could use this is like mixing it in with something or like I just said using it as like a center highlight um but I never ended up using it so I think I'll keep it in for a bit longer and see if I get some use out of it. So those are all the lip glosses you can see here. Oh, I lied. There's one more lip gloss here. This is the Sephora Ultra, Ultra Shine Lip Gel in the shade N1 Perfect Nude. I actually use this quite a bit because I really liked it. Um, it's another nude gloss. It looks like this. Let's see. I just wiped the other ones off my hand, but I just want to compare it to the peach, the sweet peach, because I don't think I need to. Okay. And the Shea Cell. Seychelles <laughs> Breeze. So that's... Okay. To me, they all are different. Some people might say, why do you need three nude lip glosses? But yeah, they're not all the same. I think this one is the most peachy light nude. Yeah. 
Do I need this one? I think I will keep this one in instead of the peach one because I already use this a lot and I know that I like it so I'll put that one back and I'll keep this one because it's newer and I only used it like once or twice okay so that was the lip gloss and then I have lipsticks yeah we'll start with the nudes and the pinks which are all of these products here I have this mini tart something like quench i don't remember the name color splash lipstick this is the shade rum punch i really like this shade looks like that so it's a more like brownie nude really like that but i'm gonna put it back because i used it already and this is a very like summery product to me i think the pattern on my Bed. It's like scaring the camera So this is a newer product to me It's the Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love In the shade Sugar This is a nude shade obviously Because we're in the nude section So this is a much lighter nude I thought I would like this a lot more than I do Like I thought I would wear it more often But it is like really light So I have to be careful like what else like what other products are on my face because it could like wash me out but I think I will keep this for now as my nude lipstick um then I had the Pat McGrath I think these are matte the matte trance formula in the shade 1995 this one broke so I'm scared to open it but this is a very dark nude on me looks like this I actually don't love this color on me it depends like what eye look I've done I wore it in I, one or two videos I don't know I think I'll put it back although it does look good for it it does look like a good fall shade but yeah, I'll try something else. Then I have this Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon in the shade Leche. That's what that looks like. So that's more like a pink. I don't think I ever used this in this like rotation. So I think I'm going to keep that. Because I think it's a good like everyday shade. And then I had this mini MAC matte lipstick in the shade party commencing i think this was a limited edition shade that came in like the holiday collection this is like a true pink shade so i'm gonna put that back i think i m used it one time but it's just not a fall shade for me and these two products i'm actually decluttering so i have the ColourPop ultra satin lip in the shade little stitious and the maybelline super stay matte ink in the shade dreamer these are actually the same color i know like it doesn't look like it but i'll show you here this is the color pop shade here i actually love this shade but the issue is that i don't know if it's like the pigments or what or just this color but both of these shades when they dry down they look like this color on my lip I don't know why but they just do and they're too pink and neither of these formulas is like my favorite like the ultra satin lip I don't know it's like almost like too thin of a texture and this formula is so that liquid lipstick effect where it has like the line between where the lipstick color stops and like your actual lip. So it gives you like a really unflattering rim <laughs> around your mouth. So I don't like this. And I just don't like these shades on me. But 
um, I haven't used them that much so I'm gonna see if I have a friend that wants these and yeah I'm gonna put them in my declutter bag so one of oh these are all the shades together if you wanted another look those are like my nudie pinks that I chose so yeah one of the reasons that I do this kind of thing is I can get to know the makeup that I have more like I can use things more than once so I know that if I actually like it or not and if I don't I'm gonna declutter or pass on or whatever the things that I don't love and that way I keep my collection smaller and more like curated to what I really like um let's move on to the pinks I put them in this cup here <laughs> These are all like the pink fuchsia coral shades that I chose. Um, this is the one I'm wearing right now actually. I mean, I know you can't see me, but I wore this in like my last three videos. It's the Essence Matte 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 shade in 04. Unfortunately, I don't think these exist anymore and I really like this lipstick and it's super cheap. Um, so this is the shade here. Yeah, I really like this. It's not like super matte either, even though it's called matte, matte, matte. Like, they had to say it three times. But on the lips, it feels very smooth. Like, it doesn't tug or anything, so I really like it. But this is not a fall shade to me, so I'm going to put that back in my collection. Um, then I had this Tarte Amazonian Butter Lipstick. I think they discontinued these as well, um, which is okay because it's not my favorite formula. It's very sheer, um, and it moves around a lot. This is the shade Tulip. I wore this in a video. You can see like even a swatch is very sheer. Which is like fine if it's more like a lighter color. But this kind of color when it's sheer it just looks a bit patchy. I don't know. But yeah I'm going to put that away. This is a very spring product to me. Uh, then I had this mini Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle matte lipstick. I don't know I can't read it. In the shade Candy Venom. I really like this lipstick and it stays on forever. Um, and look at the pigment. Like that was one swipe. Really nice. But I'm going to put it away. Um, I also had the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unattached. This is like a coral shade wow that's nice i don't think i ever used this i mean i've tried it on but i don't think i wore it out or anything but that's a really nice color but unfortunately i think it's gonna be put away for this season because it's very uh, summary to me. Um, then I had this Kaja Heart Melter in the shade Be Mine. This I wore quite often. It had it's like a heart shaped applicator. If you can see, and it's more like a balm. But I really like the color of this. It's quite unique. I actually think I might keep this in for another round. Yeah. I think that's a nice like winter shade actually. And then the last one in the pinks is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Lock Diary. This is from the Hello Kitty collection. You can see there's like bows here. I got this in a boxy charm and I was pretty excited because I don't buy ColourPop because I'm scared of getting duties and shipping charges. <laughs> which I heard are pretty bad when you ship to Canada. So that's the shade there. I think I'm gonna actually keep this in. I thought this was gonna be a lot brighter from what it looks like in the tube. Like it looks like a fuchsia, 
but in this swatch it's almost like a purple which is a very good like fall shade to me so I'm gonna keep that in I didn't actually use it so yeah and finally the reds and oranges so the first one here is um, the NYX liquid suede cream lipstick in the shade orange county so this is like a true orange that I thought I was gonna use a lot during the summer but I didn't use it at all <laughs> It looks like that it looks really nice actually but I'm gonna put this one back because it's very summery and then I have the Too Faced I always forget the name of these it's like the sweet peach something or other <laughs> anyway it's in the shade breakfast club it's in the shade breakfast club and it has like peaches on it I really love this formula but this one I honestly have never worn it in my life not just this summer but like ever <laughs> um I really like this color though it's like a strawberry red I think I'm gonna put that one back too it's just too like bright I think I do wear red lipstick like year-round but I think for the fall and winter I would prefer a more like blue tone red oh i also had this peach puff also from Too Faced. um this is the diffused matte lip color in the shade straight fire i did wear this one. Oh, there's a fly in here i did wear this um a few times that's like a light swatch i don't want to like put any more product up but you could you twist it and the product comes out on the puff here so you can like wear it like a stain or you can really build it up to a full opacity I really like this formula and it smells really good but I'm gonna put that one back too this one is um, one of my new favorite lips liquid lipstick formulas this is the dose of colors it doesn't say i think it's just called like liquid lipstick in the shade kiss of fire so another fiery red i wore this in a video and i have a picture on instagram uh, i really like this one but again it's too summery to keep in this round this one is a mini bite beauty um liquefied lipstick these are called in the shade flambe i didn't wear this one either so these are weird because they are like the name says it's really like a lipstick like a bullet lipstick that's been liquefied that's like the kind of formula so they don't dry down but that's the shade here it's more like an orange red um, yeah, so I'm gonna put that one back too. And then the last one here is a MAC matte lipstick in the shade Proud to be Canadian. This is like a true red lipstick. I actually did wear this on Canada Day. This one here, I really like this. I love the MAC um, matte lipstick formula. It's really nice. It's very pigmented. I think I'll put that one back too. I did use it and I have other reds. Yeah, I think I have more reds that I'd like to try. So, but this is a good like universal year, year round red. So that was all the lip products. That is quite a lot. I kept these ones. So I kept one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, products that I haven't, well, some that I have used, some that I just want to get more use out of. So yeah, there's that. So moving on to the face products, I think. I had three bronzers in my box, these three here. 
So I had the Pure Cosmetics Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. I think this just came in one shade. I got this in a boxy charm. I really like this. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's like a really good bronze and it has a bit of shimmer in it. So when I want like more of a glowy look, I reach for this one. But I also really like this one. This is the Cargo Bronzer in the shade Medium. It's another like shimmery bronze. Actually, do these look quite similar? Kind of. This one is maybe a bit warmer, but it still looks really nice on the skin. I think I'm going to put these two away because uh, I have other bronzers that I think are more like fall appropriate. These are very summery, I think. And my skin is going to get very pale in the fall and winter. So I think I'm going to keep this one in. It's my Fenty Beauty uh, Sun Stalker bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. This is a matte bronzer. It looks like that. I did use this quite a bit. The F is almost like gone. <laughs> but um, yeah. I really like this shade for year round. I think it would be good to keep it in. And then for blushes, well, I had palettes as well, but these are the two single. Did I only have two? Well, I also brought this in, this milk stick, but I never used it. It's a holographic stick in the shade, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Stardust. This is like for lips, eyes, and cheeks. I never used it. I wanted to do like a festival makeup video, but I never did. And I would have used this, but I didn't. So I'm going to put that back because it's very like a summery product for me. I know I'm saying that like every time, but that is the point of this video, like <laughs> putting away my summer makeup and getting out the fall stuff. So I think the same goes for this Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. This is a very glowy blush. It's almost like a highlighter. <laughs> Looks like this. I really like it though. And this one... Um, I used it quite a lot. This is one of my favorite blushes, actually. I just love the packaging also. This is the shade here. It's a very nice, like, neutral shade, I think. Like, it's not too peach. It's not too pink. Yeah, I really like it. And I think I'm going to keep it in... This will be like my fall glowy blush. Then I had my Natasha Denona Bloom palette, which I love. It has four shades here. This one's a highlighter, but I guess the rest are blushes. Like even this is like, it looks like it's supposed to be a highlighter. It's called the Duo Glow, but I mean, that's like a blush shade for me. And these two are um, cream shadows, cream shades, which I really liked as well. Um, but I think I'm gonna put this away, even though, like, I think I could wear this every day. That's how much I like it. I just feel like for the fall, I don't, I want more, like, neutral tones than this. I don't know. It's just very... Well, this was like her spring launch, so it's supposed to be very like, you know, fresh and dewy. And I also had this Cover FX palette. Um, I got it in a boxy charm, but I got the shade medium deep. So for me, I can only use this as like blush or eyeshadow. Like these are all too dark, except for this brightener shade. That's like a highlight shade for me, but the rest is blush or eyeshadow. Because even this, this is a contour shade. I, it's too dark, I think. Um, 
but I think this is very fallish to me. Like, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep this in. I did actually use it a few times um, as blush, but I think I can get some more use out of it. And if I feel like I'm really not reaching for it, I'll pass it on to like a friend that has a more deeper skin tone. I also had these two palettes. Um, this is the Flower Beauty uh, Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette in the shade Light to Medium. Unfortunately, the contour fell out and it was a really good shade. Um, but I really like the blush and the highlighter. so. That's why I'm keeping it. Um, I think I can put it back though. Because this blush is very like bright pink. I don't know. I might bring it back in for the winter. We'll see. And this Becca Ocean Jewels highlighter palette is like a colorful highlighter palette. I really like this. But again, this screams summer to me. So I'm going to put it back in my collection. I guess this would also be included as face palette. This is the Physician's Formula um, Butter Collection with Casey Holmes collab. So this is like um, a full face. So bronzer, blush, highlighter, you have eyeshadows here, a lip product, and the um, Butter Paradise Eau de Toilette. I used this in a video, um, and I still want to do that Physician's Formula video, so I think I'm going to keep this in, and these shades are very fall appropriate also these eyeshadows and I haven't gotten that much use out of them so I'm gonna keep this around even though you would think like this is very summery I think it could work in the fall too so that's all for my face palettes I'm keeping um, the blush the cover effects palette and the Casey Holmes collab oh and then I had these like miscellaneous highlighters I had the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops, which I just used in my last video. I brought these on my trip. Um, I really like this, but I think it's too gold for the fall, winter, so I'm going to put that away. These Cover FX Glitter Drops, I never used them. They were from a BoxyCharm. I think the only way I can use this is as like an eye topper because this shade is too dark for highlighting and I don't normally use glitter for highlighting. I don't know, I think I will keep this in, but if I don't use it, I might pass this on because it's not something I really see myself getting much use out of. And this is a mini um, Becca highlighter in Opal. I always bring this one with me when I go on vacation because it's first of all travel size but this shade is quite like gold tone for me so it doesn't really suit me in the fall or winter when I lose all my tan and become a piece of paper again <laughs> so I'm gonna put that one back as well but really good formula on these that was it for the uh, face palettes and like face products um, then we move on to eye stuff, so we'll start with um, these random products. So um, I had these two, uh, well this is a trio, but um, these two eye products. So the Kaja Bento Box in Toasted Caramel, I just used that in my last video. I will put this away, even though I really like it, um, but I actually got another one of these that I think I'm going to bring in instead, so I'm going to put that one back. And then this is a MAC 
Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Indian Wood. It's like a coppery, um, like a bronzy eye base, I guess you would say. I only used this once. I'm going to try and get some more use out of this. I'm also kind of scared that it's drying out, so I would like to use it some more before that happens. So keeping that in. And then I had this little cup of like random eye stuff. Um, I had this, what is this called? The Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. I didn't use it and I'm also scared it's drying out. So on one end you have like a, um, a liquid eyeshadow and on the other it's like it's almost like loose glitter but there is like some base to it uh, but it's quite like flaky so you have to be careful that you don't like drop it all over your face but I have I have like five like a set of five of these but I think I'm gonna keep this in because I feel like this is a nice warm fall color it's like coppery is there a shade name on here Margaret that's what it is so I'm gonna keep that then I had this black liquid liner in case I ever wanted to try um, using it <laughs> but I didn't so but I'm still going to keep it in again because maybe I'll want to do... I just dropped it on the floor. Maybe I'll want to do a wing one day. And this is drying out. So if by the time I try using it, if it's dry, I will get rid of it um, and bring in a new one. But this is the Starlux Pro Lux Longwear Eyeliner Pen from a BoxyCharm. And I have to keep it stored um, with like the pen facing down so that the ink like goes to the pen. Uh, I had two like regular eyeliners, um, the Marc Jacobs High Liner Gel Eye Crayon in the shade Rococo. I really like this. I wore it um, a few times I believe. I wear it in my um, waterline at the bottom. Um, I think I'll keep this. I mean, I don't have many eyeliners and sometimes I just like to add some color to the waterline. And this one I'm also going to keep in. It's um, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Torch. I think that's a really nice shade for fall too. It's like a warm brown, almost like burnt orange. Here, this is the... Marc Jacobs one. It's just like a shimmery bronze. And then I had this Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea. Is it called Sea Glass? I think, yeah, Sea Glass. These are eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadows. And the shade Sweet Life. I wore this in a video and I really liked it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put it back because. I have other liquid shadows I should get some use out of. This one is newer to me, so I'll put that one away. And then I had this Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon Champagne Diamonds for blue eyes. Well, I have green eyes, but whatever. Um, this is the shade. Oh, is that the shade? Champagne Diamonds? It's like a eye crayon. So, I think I used this maybe one time. Oh, that looks really nice. This would be good like for inner corner highlighting. I'm going to keep it in because I didn't get enough use out of it. So that's what I'm keeping in this little jar here. And then finally, the eyeshadow palettes, which I... I think I put too many in, but if you guys watch my other videos, you probably know that I really like eyeshadows. The first one I have here, which I will be keeping, 
is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. This is a really nice, like, this time of year palette. Very, like, I don't know, apple picking season. <laughs> um, yeah, it smells so good, too, whenever you open it. I really like all of these shades. And I only wore this one time, so I'm going to keep it for sure. I have this Makeup Forever um, Artist Shadows, 9 Artist Shadow Palette. Um, I think, yeah, this is number 3. This is like the spring one, I believe. It's an all shimmer palette, so... It looks like this. I thought I was going to get a lot of use out of this, but I didn't. And I think it's because it's not like a full look for me. Like there's no matte um, brow bone highlight or matte transition shade. So it's hard for me to see like when I look at this what kind of look I can do. Even though I really like all of these colors. Yeah, but I'm going to put it away because it's very spring summery, I feel. And then I had this Winky Lux Kitten palette that I got in a boxy charm. Looks like this. I did use this in a video. Um, I didn't love the way my look turned out because I feel like, well, there's only one transition shade, which is this one, but I don't find it goes with the other shadows. I don't know. I think I'll keep it in for another round just to see if I can figure out how to use it better. Um, I also noticed these shimmer shades creased quite heavily so I would, if you have this, I would recommend using a primer, an eyeshadow primer with it which I will also try. I just can't get rid of it because there's kittens on it. It's so cute. <laughs> um, I think that was it for like the smaller palette. So we'll go into the bigger ones. I use this in a video. Actually, I should zoom out, shouldn't I? This is the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. It's still in the box. I only used it that one time. It looks like this. This is a great fall palette, so I'm definitely going to keep it in. This is really, I guess, a year-round year round palette, but especially fall, I feel. Like, especially these shades here. Yes, I will keep that in. Then I had this um, Alamar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, which is really pretty. I wanted to use this shade for a look that I wanted to recreate from um, a makeup artist on Instagram called Vivi's Makeup, but I never got around to it and I think now it's too late because <laughs> it's a very like summery look. Um, so I'm going to put this back. I had the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, which I really love. I use this in a video as well. I don't, normally I probably would keep this in, but because I'm keeping the Born to Run palette, I don't think I need this one. Um, because this one has some of the sh those like warm tones in it. I don't think I need both for the fall. So I'm going to put that one away. Then I had the Pure Cosmetics Festival Festival palette. This is the one I wanted to use for that festival makeup look that I never did. This looks like that. Should I keep this in? I think I might. Because this, I mean, the outside is very end of summer, I feel. Even though it's a festival palette and festivals are like the beginning of summer. <laughs> but these sh these shades are not like super summery to me. I could use these all year round. So yeah, I'm going to keep this in because I haven't used it yet. 
And I just keep it in this box because it came with a sample of the primer that I also want to try. Get a grip primer. So I'm just going to put that back. Then I had my Tarte Rainforest. No, not Rainforest. <laughs> High Tides and Good Vibes Eyeshadow Palette. Which I also used in a video. I just love the way this looks. And I love the packaging. Clearly very summery. So I'm going to put it away. But yeah. I love this. This is the Chloe Morello Pretty Fun and Fearless um, eyeshadow palette. It's with, well, the brand is Ciate collabing with Chloe Morello. It looks like this. I don't think I used this yet. I really wanted to use this shade here, Chartreuse, but I never got around to it. I think I'm going to put this one back. I have some new palettes that I plan on bringing in, so yeah, I don't think I need this one. And last, I have this Too Faced Natural Love palette, which I used quite a few times. This is just a really great like everyday palette. Um, I really like this actually. Um, there's a really nice shade in here. Which one is it again? I think yeah this Honey Butter. That's a really good transition shade. Um, I tend to stick with like these shades here when I use this palette. But yeah, do I need this in? I think I could put this one back. I got enough use out of it for now. And then I just had my Watermelon Glow Face Mist, which I think I'll put back because I have other mists I can use. And I've used it like every time I did my makeup since I got it. So I think I can put it away. But I might take it back out because I really like it. <laughs> but yeah, I have other things that are older that I should get some use out of. So yeah, that's it actually. So just to do like a little recap of what I'm keeping in this box. But I will be adding stuff to it. Maybe in another video depending on how like organized I can make it. <laughs> so for my lips. I'm keeping um, six, six products here, one lip, like one regular lipstick, and like a lip crayon, and the rest are like glossier lips. And then for eyes, I'm keeping two eyeliners, well, three eyeliners counting this liquid liner and these two like shimmery eye products and plus my MAC paint pot. For eyeshadow palettes I have four the kitten palette, the peachy mattes, the festival palette and the born to run palette and then for face palettes the cover effects, the physician's formula, the peach blush, the Fenty Beauty bronzer, um, and these glitter drops to see if I ever reach for them for an eye look. So that's it. I think this video is super long because my camera cut off in the middle of it, but I hope you liked it anyway. And um, yeah, if you like this kind of video, let me know if you want me to do more. And I will do that. So if you liked it, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!